Land evictions and wrangles over alleged land grabbing have become a common occurrence in Uganda, but these cases seem to have spiked in some areas during the ongoing lockdown. It is against this background that government decided to halt land transactions and suspended work in all land offices during the lockdown period. Similarly, the judiciary through Chief Justice Bart Katulebe sent out a search on 19th March which suspended all execution proceedings during the same period. I am there for remaining people that the president was very clear on the activities allowed during the lockdown period. And land transaction is not among those activities. So during this period of COVID lockdown, there can be no land transaction. However, some local government officials have been ignoring these directives. We have had several disputes in the districts of Luero, Tororo, Mubende, uh, Mitiana, the ongoing eviction is in Kiriandongo, Masindi, and Zimbabwe, where even people are being evicted at night, and also land for Uganda Kingdom. And uh, we have tried as a ministry to inform the people on the grassroots to enforce and make sure that those disputes stop, especially the evictions, but they are have seemed not to be proper uh, response by the colleagues at the grassroots, especially the security personnel who are headed by the RDC. The ministers of lands, justice and constitutional affairs, information, local government and security all spoke one language during a press conference at the Uganda Media Center. They say all land evictions are illegal during this lockdown period and they have vowed to arrest anyone who participates in an eviction. Any security personnel who gets involved in trying to change the status quo during this period is hereby notified that action will be taken against him or her. According to the ministers, some individuals had encroached on people's land in areas like Zimbabwe, but they have promised to take tough action against them. I've been told that these, these directives did not go well with the, the security teams headed by the RDCs because they have special interests on those buildings that are being put on the, on the, on the same land. Therefore, I have decided as a minister to reach there tomorrow and what are we going to do? As I have mentioned, every building, every construction or major activity that has been put on disputed land in this period of lockdown is going to get demolished. The team has also directed local governments to establish an open phone number where residents within their areas can report land cases. You can use the local radio to tell the people in case somebody is being evicted from his or her land, what should you do? They should call that line. Later, these district centers will link to the national center. According to the ministers, the State House and Corruption Unit led by Lieutenant Colonel Edith Nakalema is investigating over 1,500 land-related cases committed just within the COVID-19 lockdown period. John Cliff Wamala, ANTV.